welcome to Live in the Solution. I'm your astrologer and tarot card reader, Mary Trimble, here with your readings for October the 21st through October the 27th. Um, if you're new, welcome. I hope that you enjoy these readings and that you'll return. And if you are returning, thank you for supporting this channel and welcome back. Okay, so um, these readings are for your sun, moon, and rising, um, and they are for the collective. So please take what resonates and just leave the rest. Sometimes the messages can be very specific if spirit wants to contact a particular person over a particular uh, situation. So, if you would like a more tailored and in-depth personal reading, click on this link here. Uh, that will take you to my website. And you can see what kind of readings I offer. Now, these... Um, I also, oh, before I go, before I mention anything else, I do have a Facebook group and, um, that I do a live stream every two weeks in that Facebook group. And it's either about the new moon or the full moon. Um, so coming up, we'll have the, uh, full, sorry, the new moon coming up this week. So I will be doing a live stream at some point this week in that group. And we look at how you receive that, um, the new moon or the full moon, whatever it is, um, in your sign. So it's very interesting. And I do that live. And I also have tarot cards on hand to uh, ask, answer questions. Now, um, uh, this another way to support this channel is through Patreon. Um, so click on this link for Patreon and check out my Patreon page. You can uh, donate as little as a dollar a month. Um, that's huge for me. Maybe not so much for you, but it really helps. Uh, now, what else? Um, lastly, these readings come in three. Lot, not four, three sections. <laughs> One is the intro, which is this. Then there's the astrological reading. Um, and then there is the uh, tarot card reading. And I will have skip times to all of those in the show more section below, as well as links to other videos. Sometimes it gives, it, it takes me a minute to, um, to update the links to the videos, but hang in there. Or you can also look at the uh, playlist for October and you can find all the uh, videos in there. So without further ado, let's go to the astrology section of your reading, shall we? Hello and welcome to the astrology section of your reading. Now, uh, what an incredible, powerful uh, celestial sky we have this week. First of all, um, of course, it's all about culminating in the new moon uh, on Sunday. But before that, on Monday, um, Venus is trine Neptune. Now, this is Monday, October the 21st, um, and that happens at 3.41 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is a harmonious aspect, and it brings in an intense appreciation for the arts, especially music and painting. Um, you may have a stronger than normal inclination towards spiritual endeavours, you know, or mystical, the mystical arts such as astrology and tarot and uh, Wiccan and things like that. Um, now, there could be a tendency to kind of sacrifice yourself, to be a little over generous and magnanimous. Um, so that nature that can come out in all of us could leave you open for others to take advantage. Um, fortunately, Venus is also sextile to Saturn. So Saturn will reign uh, that overly um, generous nature. It'll rein it in a bit, give it a little structure so that uh, you won't be too generous and uh, you won't be easily taken advantage of. Um, so now, but it is something to keep in mind. Now, the sun moves into Scorpio on Wednesday. Happy birthday, Scorpio. It's your month um, on the zodiac. So when the sun moves into Scorpio, things get a little more serious and perhaps more intense. It's important. Our relationships are more important. And also authenticity and honesty. Um, you know, it, we won't be interested in uh 
what's the word I'm looking for? Shallow, shallowness. And or if someone's not quite who, who they seem to be, we, we don't have time for that. Um, when the sun moves into Scorpio. Now, at the beginning of the week, we have two planets in Scorpio, Mercury and Venus. And then as we move to the new moon on Sunday, October the 22nd, there'll be four planets in Scorpio because new moons are when the sun and the moon are adjacent, are right next to each other at the same degrees. They're almost on top of each other, right? Um, so, you know, the full moons are when they're opposite, the new moons are when they're together. This is a wonderful time to uh, make intentions. And this is a new moon in Scorpio. So it is very emotional. It's very deep. It's very intense. Scorpio is the detective of the uh, zodiac and Scorpio is ruled by Pluto. Uh, so there's a lot of Plutonian and Scorpionic energies uh, going on this month. So Pluto is about the planet, the planet, it's the planet of transformation, right? So this, this new moon will give us a chance to really go deep and see what kind of behaviors of whole are holding us back. What needs to change in our lives? Um, Perhaps we need to let go of people, some people, or a place. Perhaps we need to move. Um, perhaps we need to let go of some things or some behaviours. Um, it's about searching, going really deep and searching uh, what triggers certain reactions in us. And how can we change that? Um, are we smoking? Are we overeating? Are we overworking, gambling, perhaps taking drugs, M maybe not exercising or taking care of ourselves? Are we sabotaging, sabotaging ourselves in some way? Um, this is an opportunity to co-create with the universe and really go deep within. Transform your life through purification, through organize. Let me tell you, I have been working with Pluto this last week or two, and that's why you haven't heard much of me online, because I have been in deep, deep um, not just cleansing, really purification, getting rid of all my old files. I had these files from you know, the 90s. So I've been shredding for <coughs> days and deep, deep cleaning. Everything's been moved. Everything's been, I mean, it is plutonic. <laughs> so if you can do that, it feels so amazing. I have reorganized my whole, all, my whole home and uh, my workspace. So everything kind of flows a lot more easily. So this is an opportunity and it's opportunity to look at yourself and how you react. Now, this is the, it's a, it's going to be quite, it's a, okay, I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. It's going to be quite a challenging week because at the same time, the new moon, that's the moon and the sun, right, are opposite Uranus. Now, this can mean volatile uh, moods and mood changes and our energy le levels may fluctuate. This is really important to resist the urge to react. It can be rebelliousness um, and, and anger can come up. Um, so, breathe before you react and perhaps it might be more prudent to stay quiet. You know, if you have the urge, that that impulse to to react, resist that. Now, earlier in this, on the same day, Sunday is a whoa, one of those days, it's like a whoa. It's a hot topic day. Um, so I would be aware of Sunday. Um, I mean, these energies are a few days before and a few days after, <coughs> excuse me, um, and the, you know, the energy of the new moon will carry us forward. So look, this is an, int an intention that we need to make at this new moon of how we can change our life going forward and improve it. It's like, what can we change fundamentally about ourselves? What is possible to change? 
Um, you know, this is this energy is behind us for this change. It's you know, it's got our back. Um, now, earlier in that day, Mars squares Saturn. Saturn. Um, this can bring up control issues. This is all about control. It can be about manipulation. Um, it's 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 almost like you have to take control of everything and. Uh, <clears throat> you know, people and situations. Now, in extreme situations, um, you may express cruelty or perhaps even violence to get your way, um, or somebody may perpetrate that against you. So strive to, this is really important to us because this, you know, manipulation and anger and Cruelty comes from fear, really. That's the bot the underlying emotion is fear. So strive to find out what that fear is, where it comes from. It, it will give you a better understanding of yourself and and perhaps some self-awareness. And when you have that, then you can start to change those things. So this new moon will help in that discovery, the self-discovery and self-awareness. Um, so it is really one of those, uh, this week is all about going within. It's about searching for um, solutions. It's about searching for um, the root and, and help you to understand. Because when you understand, it takes the power out of that fear, right? It stops you from reacting out of emotional fear. Okay, let's go to your tarot reading, shall we? Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to the tarot card section of your reading for October the 21st through October the 27th. I'm feeling a little under the weather, so bear with me if I'm coughing or spluttering through this my fault. I've been burning the candle at both ends and I haven't slept properly. I've been on the go, on the go. Anyway, this is for Sagittarius. What wonderful gifts, guidance, blessings and helpful information can you give Sagittarius for this coming week? Three cards for Sagittarius, please. Three cards for Sagittarius. Oh, there's two, I think. Let me make sure there's not three there. Oh yeah, two. One more card for Sagittarius, please. One. Oh, there it is. Oh, flying away. <laughs> Hang on. Here you go. All right. Oh, okay. Here we go. Now we have clarifying cards for Sagittarius. What wonderful gifts, guidance, blessings, and helpful information can you give Sagittarius for this coming week? Please clarify. Oh, there's one. Okay. Please clarify. And please clarify. There we go. Okay. Sagittarius, check out your cards. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, the first card out for you is the uh, Six of Pentacles. Then you have the Nine of Wands. Then you have the Death card clarified by the knight of pentacles then you have the queen of cups clarified by the three of pentacles sagittarius the first card out for you is the six of pentacles the six of pentacles is the service card right if you need help help is on the way <clears throat> and if you don't need help then 
you're being asked to help others, to be in service for others. It doesn't mean you have to give them money. You know, it just you can be a you can just be company for an old lady or an old gentleman or you can go shopping. You do service in some way. It can even be smiling as you're walking down the street. You know, it doesn't cost anything to smile. It's making someone feel better. You can even do it anonymously. Pay someone's bill that needs a bill paying, you know, without telling them. Something like that. <clears throat> Somebody that needs some help somewhere. But as I say, look, this guy's like giving money to children. So you're either... Um, in need of help, which means help. This card means that somebody's going to come out and help you. Um, now, the next, I have a feeling that for some of you, it's somebody's going to help you, but still, there's nothing to stop you from being in service, too, right? So, the next clarifying that is the nine of wands. So, you're, I feel that some of you are in a place where you need help, Sagittarius. And this is, this is like, the nine of wands is like when you're feeling like you want to give up, that you've tried everything and you're really tired and, and you're dog-eared, trying to protect what's yours. It's almost like you're on the tread, you know, the treadmill or the, you know, the hamster wheel going round and round and round and it's just exhausting. And, um, and this is somebody that's kind of been beaten up by life, right? So... When the nine of wands comes in, it's this is not the time to give up. You're almost at the finish line. Hang in there. Just do it. Um, this is about maybe taking a moment, you know, a respite to kind of, you know, take a, a lick your wounds, rejuvenate so you can get back in there and do what you need to do. Um, you're nearly there. Don't give up right now, Sagittarius. Help is on the way. And the next card out is the death card. This is Pluto. Pluto, um, and, and Pluto is very strong. I mean, Pluto rules, uh, is the ruling planet for Scorpio. And there are four planets in Scorpio this week. And so we have this Plutonian and uh, Scorpionic uh, energies coming in. So this is about purification because the death card is about rebirth, right? The uh, the uh, white horse represents uh, purification and the white rose also. It's about rebirth. It's death and rebirth. So we really have to look at where we can improve or change ourselves. We have to go deep. We have to be, we have to really be honest and, and you know, uh, Scorpio is the uh, detective of the Zodiac. So we've got to really search for how, where can we change in our lives? You know, really, this is about awakening, right? This this is about going within and coming out spiritually awakened some with self-awareness and um, proceeding, f going forward differently. Right. Changing yourself, really uh, deeply changing yourself. What behaviors have held you back? What have you, how have you shot yourself in the foot before? How have you, um, you know, been your own worst enemy? What behaviors have uh, blocked you from moving forward and being successful? That's what you've got to ask yourself, Sagittarius. Now, clarifying that card is the Knight of Pentacles. And all knights are about movement, right? But this particular knight, he's kind of standing there surveying the land. He's moving slowly forward, methodically and strategically. So you're being asked to look at your next move very carefully and consciously, right? <clears throat> Excuse me, mindfully making your next move because he stands there, he surveys the land, he doesn't waste energy. He, he's ready to jump into action if need be, to protect and to serve. But he's not going to go out there wielding his sword willy-nilly for no apparent reason. He's going to really look and see where he's going to move forward. He's not, he's astute. He's, he's planning his next move. He's strategizing. 
Um, so that's what you're being asked to do. And then you have the Queen of Cups. Now, the Queen of Cups comes in. She's this wonderful um, emotional kind of maternal energy, if you will. And she she can be, excuse me, I'm sorry. <coughs> she can help everyone to the detriment of her, herself. So you have to be very cautious. You must take care of yourself before you help anyone else. That's the that's the crux of the matter. Yes, help people, but make sure that you are healthy, that you're eating right, you're sleeping right, unlike me, because I didn't do that, and that's why I'm paying for it now, right? So the Queen of Swords, the, sorry, the Queen of Cups, uh, you know, look at me. You become the Queen of Cups when you don't take care of yourself and you're, you know, you're just running ragged. Um, so take care of yourself, you know? And, and clarifying it is the three of pentacles. It's about being a team player. It's not about going out there and doing everything yourself. It's about delegating and being part of the team. And I feel that things will re you know, really pay off when you are a team member instead of being the leader and taking on and controlling everything. Stand back and, and work with the team. Let everyone be equal. Um, that's what I'm getting for you. Sagittarius, thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like this video, share it with friends, family, neighbors, co-workers, social media, comment. I live for comments and feedback and I always respond. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Mwah! I love you all and I'll see you next week.